Hello everyone, today I will show you how to color on the black and white image. I will also be creating a stylish design like this one using some cool brushes. The app I will use today is Procreate, which is my favorite app. It's an app for illustration where you can create a simple design like this quickly, so I highly recommend it. The process is straightforward, where you almost feel like you're coloring, so for those who have any black and white images, feel free to give it a try. Alright, let's get started. Open Procreate, and today we will drag and drop an image from Camera Roll. Grab your photo using a split view like this and throw it into Procreate to import. The first thing to do is to duplicate an image layer by going to the layer panel to keep it as a backup just in case. Add a layer on top and this is where we will be coloring. We will only color this trumpet yellow this time. Grab a yellow color, choose any brush, and I'm just going to color it like this for now. This ends up looking like a normal color overlay. But what we will do from here is click on the option that says N to change the blend mode and so set it color. This way, only the color data will be applied to the image. So it's yellow right now, but it could be blue if you want. I'm just going to color the base color yellow. Once the base color is set, we'll add a different color. I could keep it yellow as it is, but it's kind of dull, or it doesn't look as real, so by bringing in different colors or with more color variations, it will appeal more realistic. A way to do this is to add a new layer and grab about 5 colors you want to refer to as color samples here. There's a wide range of colors even for yellow, so I'm going to put white-ish, greenish, orange-ish, yellow, darker orange as well as blue, the opposite color will be yellow, just to see. Once you're done, grab a brush while keeping the drawing mode with a set of colors selected. I always have my dropper tool in the middle on the left, so grab a color using this dropper tool and color the highlighted part here with a whitish yellow tone. For the shadow part here, which is darker in color, it can be colored in orangeish tone. The trumpet is yellow, but the colors slightly differ side by side depending on where the lights come from. You can also use different color schemes to show the age of the trumpet, right? So, think of different scenarios and paint accordingly. something waste your time you do something waste mine i write pretty poems about my sorrows i write pretty songs for my one love all right just like this the trumpet is complete I want to make it look more stylish, so add a new layer and switch the blend mode to overlay. 
Grab a yellow color and start coloring, and this brings up the saturation level, leaving an impression of a stylish look. Okay, so like this, I'm almost done with the part of overlay. With on and off, I think you can tell the difference in its looks. It's too much when I set it 100%, so you could adjust or lower the opacity later. You can delete the color samples from earlier now as well. So I'm done coloring the trumpet, and now that we're done with it, I might as well add an expression of sound coming from the trumpet by using a brush. Right now I'm using a bolt lining brush by default. It might actually look a bit childish with this one. So I'm going to choose something else. I tried many other brushes, but the one I found the best was this brush called Rad, which can be found in the retro folder. And that's what I'm using right now to draw randomly. Another brush that I like is a brush called Matte Splash in the watercolor folder. I'm going to grab a color and paint here this time. As you can see, it looks eye-catching with a water splash coming from the trumpet. You could also switch the drawing mode here on the layer. I set mine to color dodge this time. This drawing mode allows a new color to blend well with the white part I painted earlier. The reflection and lightning effects leave an impression of stylish color design. I will be adding a new layer, grab a different brush, and stuff them up. There's a brush called Flitter in the spray folder. I use this one very often, not just this time but for many other drawings. This Flitter brush also reflects the impression of color splashing. I will set it to the color dodge mode as well. I will keep adding color one after another like this. Because this is really fun actually, you might end up doing too much by the time you realize. But when that happens, you can lower the opacity. You can also tap on the screen and use the mask option. Trace in black with mask selected to make elements temporarily invisible. Also, you can tap on the screen and use the mask option. Trace in black with mask selected to make elements temporarily invisible. Select mask and color only the trumpet in black. Parts of it becomes invisible as you can see, but this is not the same as erasing using an eraser. Okay, just like this, it's complete. At last, I'm going to insert text. Unfortunately, Procreate doesn't have that function, so we would have to use a different app. The app we are using this time is called Font. You can download it for free. I have a video introducing Font uploaded already, so feel free to check it out from the link in the description if you're interested. How it works is from photo albums, you need to import a photo created on Procreate earlier. 
touch the screen, which will then display an option that says Add Text. Tap it, add any text you want to insert, and click the Done button here. You should now have the text inserted in your image, so change the size, color, as well as letter and line spacing. The app font lets you change all of these by using the sliders. This feels very intuitive, so I really like it. As you can see, I'm making all the adjustments by using the sliders. Anyway, position the text anywhere you want to and save the image from the bottom right to export. Now the illustration image with text is complete. About Procreate, I usually use it to draw illustrations. But like we did this time, you could also create a cool design with images and brushes, so it's really up to your creativity. I hope all of you can be creative and keep producing some interesting design work. That's all for today. I received many questions about Procreate, so I plan on making a video on Q&A soon. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Alright, thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.